Here's the thing. I walk into my dressing room from the bathroom. I just finished showering up and I'm in a towel. I walk into the room, come to find out later that this man was a very wealthy businessman in the community, okay? And when I walked into the room, he's wearing a very, very nice suit. So when I saw the suit, I didn't give it a second thought because he looked professional. I thought maybe he was the general manager of the building, one of the concert promoters. He could have been someone's agent. So when I walked in the room, and I'm like, Tao, like, can I help you? <laughs> he looks at me, and it was the most uncomfortable conversation I have ever had. He looks at me and says, listen. I am not here to waste any of your time. Fluffy, I am prepared to take care of you. I will give you a new Lexus and an allowance that's more than what you make as a comedian. Leave with me. I was never more disgusted and offended at the fact that I was not gay. <laughs> because finally, finally, somebody wants to take care of me. Do you know how many people I take care of? No one's ever offered me a Lexus, and they should. I felt horrible saying no to this guy. I still think about it. <laughs> I still have the number.